Good evening and welcome to Tucker Carlson tonight. As you've doubtless seen on the news everywhere, a member of the tolerant left screamed at Ivanka Trump and her family, including her young kids, on a JetBlue flight yesterday. The man, who was a lawyer from Brooklyn, berated her about her father before being kicked off the flight for disorderly conduct. Even a lot of liberals thought his behavior went way too far, but not all of them thought that. Some of them thought it was justified, and that would include our next guest. She's Lauren Duca. She's a journalist, and she tweeted this earlier today. Ivanka Trump is poised to become the most powerful woman in the world. Don't let her off the hook just because she looks like she smells good. Lauren Duca joins us. Now, Lauren, thanks for coming on. Hi. Thanks for having Hi. me. So I think, of course, it goes without saying that it's valid that you disagree with Trump and you have your own set of political views and perhaps you disagree with Ivanka Trump. I wonder, though, screaming at a mom and her kids on an airplane seems like a violation of privacy and decency and good manners, and it raises the question, what are the venues where you shouldn't scream your political views at people? Would a funeral be out of bounds, church, her son's bris? Like, what are the rules on that? Oh, at a, <laughs> at a bris. Um, yeah, well, I think what is a nonpartisan issue is that air travel is horrific, and I don't think anybody should be enduring confrontations in the air, be it Ava Ivanka Trump with her children or just any other human being in a tin can and feeling dehydrated. But, um, right. And I think that the fact that she is with her children is significant. And I do also think that, you know, a mother in public who's a public figure, you know, there are certain levels of decorum that we should be thinking about. At the same time, she does have an incredibly powerful position. And she's not just a mother. She is a powerful, powerful woman who's connected very closely to the president-elect, not just as his daughter, but in many ways as a business confidant and advisor. And I think that we haven't quite been able to define what all those roles mean. So while I don't, you know, I don't want anyone being yelled at on a plane. I, I don't want anyone yelling at me on a plane. I don't want to yell at anyone on a plane. But I think that you know, Ivanka's incredibly compelling brand and presence and role as a mother and successful woman, those are interesting and attractive elements of her right. brand, but I don't know that, you know, where do those protections end too? Kind of would ask you the same question as well, the but, but, but wait a second, I mean, that's not at all what your tweet suggested. In addition to the one that we just read, you put, I think we can put it on the screen. My you tweet tweeted, didn't even, uh, didn't talk about the plane at all, actually. So what are you referring to? Well, it was to? within the, con look, Ivanka Trump was in the news about, because she was screamed out on the airplane, and you say, don't let her off the hook. And then you go on to say in another tweet, Ivanka has it all, and by that I mean a job, a family, and sinister complicity mm -hmm. in aiding the most aggressively anti-woman candidate of our time. Yeah. Sinister complicity. She's his daughter. What is that? She's I mean, a sur she was a surrogate frequently throughout, represented him in terms of women issue women's issues. She had isn't she repeated pretty liberal interviews, on women's issues? and she did speeches on his behalf where she represented a platform of women's empowerment. And um, in terms of having it all, I, you know, I think she's an incredibly successful, brilliant woman. The fact that she was able to balance him out on these issues where he has talked about defunding Planned Parenthood and being against abortion and these typically liberal women's issues that she sort of is a cushion for, I think we need to investigate those things a little more critically, a little more rigorously, and not be blinded by the fact that she looks like she smells like vanilla. Okay, she looks like she smells like vanilla. I mean, who's objectifying women here? I wouldn't say that. <laughs> oh I my sort of, God. No, I'm, I'm, I'm actually asking a serious uh, question. My point is she's a beautiful, I don't, gorgeous, I don't care what she looks like nature. or smells like. I mean, what exactly do you oh, disagree honey. with her on specifically? Oh my goodness. I'm saying that she is incredibly welcoming. She's gorgeous and smart. I mean, she's in a lot of ways, uh, many elements of her persona are... Uh, you know, admirable and something to look up to is what, it, you know, is a joke. Okay, but, but you said that she is, sinister, she is sinister complicity yes, in aiding the most... Yes, I absolutely believe that. Okay, I don't, so I'm not sinister, backing down from sinister, that at all. So it's sinister for a daughter to support her father's presidential campaign because you don't like her father? It's sinister for a daughter to capitalize on the power of feminism and uniting women and empowering women while supporting a candidate who is the most anti-woman candidate this country has seen in decades. What, what does that even mean? Like, why don't you tell, I mean, what, it's, he's anti, what, she's anti-woman because he wants said? to defund Planned Parenthood. I'm sorry, you said, is that what I said? I, I think my earpiece said, might not be working because that is most certainly not what I said. Okay. 
She's guilty because he's anti-woman. She's complicit in his, quote, anti-woman positions. To continue to uh, stop and support his again, position. But it's her dad. I mean, I don't understand. So I guess the point I'm making is you're drawing this kind of world where everyone who's not on your side no. is evil and that's is, not what I as said, you put even it, remotely. fair game. That's well, actually, not what I what said. You said. Tucker, you said she's Tucker, called fair that's game not what even I though said. she smells good. Tucker, I did not say anybody who disagrees well, what, okay. with me is evil. Then I'm going to ask you again. What do you disagree with that she has said? What position that she holds do you disagree with? I disagree with her providing a surrogacy for her father based on an empowerment of women when that is an inherent disconnect between his Wait, campaign so, and so her So you agree with her, but because she supported her dad, she I never, somehow I did fair not game. Say I what are you saying? I'm, I'm, her, I'm, um, I'm trying to understand what you, you're saying. You're not, what did she believe, Tucker, don't you believe? you're not trying to agree with what I'm saying. You're shouting over me every time I speak. It's, it's incredibly unprofessional. I'm asking you a simple question. You're not. Which is, you're actually why is being a partisan hack who is just attacking me well, ad nauseum and not hack. even allowing okay. me to speak. Well, let Tucker, me I think you. we agree here. I think we agree here. Right? No, I don't think we do. We both Lauren. agree that she didn't deserve to be attacked. I think it's appalling that some guy yelled at her on an airplane and, and you're I saying said she's called no fair game. I very clearly and calmly said that no one deserves to be yelled at on a plane. I don't want to be yelled. I don't want to yell at you on a plane. I'll yell at you here, but you're not saying on a plane. that to me because I'm confronting you about it. But on Twitter, on your Twitter feed, where you scream "F you, Donald Trump," "Eat feces, Donald Trump," all this feces? kind of. Wait, what? Well, I can't say the word you used, as you well know. But I, let me said, I, want to get I said to a piece. feces Donald Trump. That's what I said. You said eat, in effect, human feces Tucker. on Twitter. Tucker, I can't, you, Tucker. Know. you are talking at this trivial, mundane level of argument. Okay. We're let agreeing. Me, let me Tucker, can okay. I ask you a question? Tucker, can well, I let please? Let me ask you no, to I'd account like to ask for you a something question. that you wrote. No, Tucker, and, and in teen do Vogue. you or do you not agree that we deserve, as the American people, a level of transparency in terms of Ivanka's role? I think we need to take her seriously and that she's a positive role model Look, and Lauren, admirable in a lot of ways, but that she still she, requires transparency she's in flying with what kids on she represents an airplane. in and terms of having a government position or Look, being a businesswoman or being a mother. Okay, okay. So we do agree. I agree that anyone who's making decisions about how the federal government runs should have to answer questions Absolutely. about those decisions. Okay? I don't think you should hassle people because you disagree with them in public. And period. I didn't say you should. So, so we do, here's Tucker, your, he, hey, we agree. We agree. Here is yes. your description of the Trump administration. You wrote this piece in Teen Vogue, which I guess you write for. Oh, which you and guess you I said, write for? Yes, that's not fake news. That's real news. I write for, you okay. guess? <laughs> oh, you guess, Tucker? You guess? That's well, really patronizing. I haven't, I haven't read Teen Vogue because I'm not a, a Teen Vogue Well, you reader, have in front of, your producers asked me if I wrote for Teen Vogue. You have my Teen Vogue article in front here, of you. I'm, my you, name is Warren Duca, and I write for Teen wrote. Vogue. Well, got it. Here's what you wrote. Okay. The road ahead is a treacherous one. There are unprecedented amounts of ugliness to untangle, from deciding whether our president can be an admitted sexual predator to figuring out how to stop him from threatening the sovereignty of an entire religion. Yes. What does it mean to threaten the sovereignty of religion? What does that even mean? That means an entire agenda, a platform of based on banning Muslims, which is still available on his website. How does that threaten the sovereignty of religion? That's moronic, Lauren. You're a writer. How does that threaten the sovereignty of it? Pardon me well, for taking this literally. Sorry, how does what threaten the sovereignty of it? How, Threatening to ban how does Muslims? Any, that threatens the sovereignty of it? Yes, that completely, that, that profiles based on the basis of religion and reduces people to their beliefs and dictates what they can and cannot publicly uh -huh. believe. That doesn't threaten the sovereignty of it. Um, so you, you also right. accused him on Chelsea Handler's show of, quote, committing a form of psychological abuse that makes the victim feel like they're crazy. Does Trump yes. make you feel like you're crazy? That's the impression <laughs> I'm getting. Oh, my God. Are you calling me crazy? That's the door. I'm, I'm asking That's you. You said so on cute. Chelsea Handler, he's committing psychological abuse on you. Uh, you believe that? On the American people. I believe the American people, Trump supporters, Hillary supporters, Jill Stein and her cousin, are in a victim of Trump's gaslighting. What I mean by that is that he frequently contradicts objective evidence, not that oh. he is abusing me personally. And I think you're smart enough to know that, aren't you, Tucker? I don't know. I just take your words at face value. He's so did you read the entire article? Psychological. I... I did. I also read Liam Payne is 100% certain One Direction will continue. Adriana yes. Grande rocked the most epic thigh-high boots at yes. Jingle Bell and so Black teams, China and Rob incredible. Kardashian. That's went through the messiest breakup of 2016. Those are your other pieces. 
But I'm trying to get to what you're writing about Trump, taking have, a break from the thigh-high boots, and ask what you mean about him committing psychological abuse on you. A and woman are you okay can love with? Ariana Grande and her thigh-high boots <laughs> okay, and yeah. still I'm just letting you know that I read you in Teen Vogue I, as of today. And those things are not mutually exclusive. You know, it's, it's, now that you bring up Teen Vogue, we, we, we treat young women like they don't have a right to a political <laughs> to a conversation. Of, like, dumb propaganda. And like you can't be, you know, enjoy Kylie Jenner's Instagram and worry about the future God. of this country. And those uh. things are not mutually exclusive. So, you know what? I did write about Ariana Grande and I did write uh -huh. about the abusive, bigoted, Those pieces were a little smarter than your piece about threatening the, the sovereignty States. of a whole religion. All right, I got to go. You should stick to the thigh high boots. You're better at that. Lauren, thanks for joining us. You're a